Petunia Fennywinkle, and today I'm going to be reading Olivia Helps with Christmas. Just like Olivia helps with Christmas, my dog Dobby helps me read, and here he is. Olivia Helps with Christmas by Ian Falconer. <gasps> Twas the day before Christmas. Olivia and her family had been out all morning busy with last minute shopping. And there's the father caught holding the tree and all the presents. Olivia was exhausted, yet there was still so much to do. Olivia told her father and Ian to put up the tree so she could help her mother with William's lunch. See, she has a little baby brother named William. Olivia, what are you feeding him? Blueberry pie. Oh, darling, that's going to make him sick. Oops. By four o'clock, Olivia was getting impatient. Sweetheart, Santa won't be here for hours, said her mother. Now wipe that soot off your snout and help me untangle these lights. So Olivia tried, and oh, mummy! Darling, it's much easier if you plug them in first. There, isn't that better? <gasps> Finally, the tree was trimmed. 5 p.m. Santa watch. No, Santa, but rain. Olivia wanted to be even more of a help. Mummy, may I set the table for Christmas Eve dinner? Oh yes, Olivia, that would be very helpful. Why, that's beautiful, darling. Where did you find that perfect little tree? She took the top off the Christmas tree. Would you like to help, uh, to help me build a fire, said Olivia's father. Daddy, what could you do to be thinking of? Do you want to cook Santa? 7 p.m., Santa watch. No Santa, but no rain. After dinner, the family gathered to sing carols. Softly they started. Angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the plains. Olivia really liked to let go for the chorus. Gloria. And the dog didn't really like it too much and the cat ran away. Finally, the most important task of the night, leaving treats for Santa Claus. Olivia said, now it's time to wait. Her mother said, now it's time for bed. And you see, they left the cookies and the milk for the dog, but the dog, well, they left it for Santa, but the dog got it. But Olivia wasn't at all sleepy. She tossed, she turned, first she was hot, then she was cold. Then she heard something on the roof. Could it be Santa? It was a raccoon. It seemed she would never get to sleep until she woke up and saw it was morning. Olivia ran to get her brothers. Noiselessly, they crept down the stairs. Snow! Presents! Stockings! And look, cried Olivia, Santa ate all the cookies and milk. And the dog let out a big burp. Now, children, said Olivia's mother, finish your breakfast and then you can open the presents under the tree. It looks like someone just learned to walk. And look at little baby William is walking on his little trotters. Some of Santa's offerings were better than others. Pajamas. Skis. Sweater, sled, booties, maracas. The children thanked their parents for a wonderful Christmas and Olivia announced, now I have a present for you. 
It's a self-portrait. Won't it be beautiful over the fireplace? Do you think that looks like Olivia? She painted it herself. Well, said Olivia, I think I'll hit the slopes. And there she's going down the hill, splat. And then her brother Ian comes with the sled down over her head. Skiing takes more practice. Olivia and Ian worked all afternoon to make a snowman. Olivia dressed it. I think she gave it some of her clothes because she's looking rather cold. That evening, Olivia finally allowed her father to build a fire. The family sat and warmed their trotters while Olivia's mother brought them steaming mugs of hot soup. Soon it was time for bed and Olivia wasn't at all sleepy. Or so she said. But before the lights were even out, she fell into a deep and dreamless slumber. Well, not quite dreamless. I think she wants to be a ballet dancer. The end. So I think we'll skip the dog thing. Yeah. <laughs>